Turn back to AC. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. Look here. Another marker. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Huh. Prepare yourself! I'm ready. To the Raven Girl, Lord of the Hang. Say their need things upon all who trust them. Here, boy. I know those roads. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there.
What does it say? Falcon, hawk, and turtle dove swim aloft in oceans above. Ah, wind. Vineyard. Look what it did! Father, she is here! It is so good to see you again! I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello? Oh, can you bring your head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now! They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either? Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? 
Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The world serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... Spell? Lemire? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broke. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! to the hole. Had that statue made in honor of Thor, and seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them, or they will anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. Remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunkun. Aho. Eh. Echo no Tunno Funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. 
What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water has dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Nightmares, huh? What awful <laughs> pain! I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the Reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of Reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you? <laughs> So what brings you around, friends? Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. 
He murdered his father. Well, when you do need something, I'll be around. this place. Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here.
You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was on the floor right now. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Oh there. Got another favor to ask you two. What do you want, Dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dance. Another lead? I'll explain it. Magni and Modi, two bigger twits you won't likely find in the halls of Asgard. They'll do anything their uncle puts them up to. They are fools? Well, dangerous fools, to be sure. When they work together, they're formidable. But too often it's a petty competition. Terribly strong, even as children. I remember the time Hingyr the Brawler fell upon Thor. Another time, Ed. It's hot here, but is that snow? Ash. It only falls like that for great fires. The whole realm is a great fire. The source of fire itself, and all the sun and stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably since the dawn of creation, hasn't it? Niflheim isn't exactly ice these days, either. It's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and grey, heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir.
Another one here. This one's called Sewer Turf. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. Now you're talking. Smiles armor enough, but why? Now what else does... I wanna tell you. Listen. I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there. corner oh it's a great big sword it wants to know if we're ready to train oh, the gates closed prepare yourself boy yes sir Just showed up back here. 
good. More creatures. nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. It says there's another level to this challenge. Harder than before. It is not the time for this. Aww. like the heat, Brock. Heat's damn useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls a cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Moving on, then. Now you're talking. Son? Yes, that worked out. No?
So, nobody lives here, do they? Only a fire giant could be at home here, and according to prophecy, we won't see them again till Ragnarok. There's another sword! This must be the next challenge.
seen one of those before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. Breathing in ash. Imagine breathing it in from your throat stump. Uh, I really can't. Oh, wow. It's a lava waterfall. It's a lava fall. Yes, this isn't at all terrifying, is it? Another sword. I wonder how many of these there are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Many of these there are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Ready? Ready.
I want. How many of these there are? Oh, it's six. The voice is six. Oh! <laughs> 
how many of these there are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. I know I've been up in a mountain for a while now, but since when do the dead not stay dead? A little resurrection among friends is one thing, I can hardly complain. But it's as if hell itself is shambling into Midgard. The said the world was out of balance. And somebody meddled with forces. Oh, that's plain to see. And Odin is the king of meddlers. But I shudder to think what he did to cause this. But perhaps it involves the Valkyries. That'd be playing a dangerous game indeed. Look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin does? He's like the king of gods. Well, the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. You all bum fuzzled over there. Get going. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You, know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. Know what? I'm sorry I brought it up. Shorty, what'd you forget?
is that all there is? What'll it be? Suit yourself. Sure, I'm open. I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. And for Junior? Well, next time. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! To the chisel. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Amir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and the Vanir. Prior to that, 
wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <sighs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the long war? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Huh. Okay. <laughs> 
Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Huh. <laughs> Odin and Frey were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. But I can just tell you this story later. Boy, over here. Sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. You were saying something about love and hate being... Intertwined, yes. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted in his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. Look here. Yes, sir.
Okay. That's going in the journal.
So what was it like when Odin and Freya got married? He granted us so many wishes I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counsellor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. something down there.
Yeah! 